Hey everybody, Mark Agnese here in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back to Mandolin of the Day. No, <laughs> probably won't be doing that again for a while. Keep it Guitar of the Day. What'd you think though? Should I quit my day job? <laughs> no, probably. Yeah. You should do a ukulele, man. <laughs> ukulele of the Day. I'm just gonna play ukulele and sing songs on a kayak. <laughs> or whatever the hell it is. It's kayak? No, and that's canoes? a canoe. I don't whatever. know, whatever. Fuck. Whatever. Oh, let's see. Uh, I gotta do a quick shout out to, my, uh, to Mike Brown over in Afghanistan. Got himself a Dean Caddy today. That, that thing's off, man. Ooh. It costs so much money to ship stuff. You ship stuff to a military thing in Afghanistan. It was like, not that much money. It's crazy. Post office. USPS. Way to go, man. Uh, car, uh, hey, Greg. Postman <laughs> Greg. I think he watches. Hey, Postman Greg. We love Greg around here. And Carlos, our UPS oh, yeah, guy, Carlos. too. Carlos is cool. Game one, NBA Finals tonight. Woo! Bron Bron! Bring another one back to the CLE, man. Let's see. Uh, I won't bore you with all the basketball stuff. We'll save that for tomorrow, post game. <laughs> uh, it's Thumping Thursday. We're two for the last two. This ain't gonna be there long. It's so good. Come on back. This is from 1961. Original Fender slab board precision bass. Original three color sunburst finish, tortoiseshell guard. James Jamerson as the F word. Mm -hmm. James Jamerson, A F. A F. A E A E. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's the base. For me, my two favorite bases of all time are the gold anodized guard maple neck precision base and the Tortoise guard <laughs> slab where you're like, you know, I like jazz basses too, and I like Thunderbirds and all that stuff. For me, like gold guard and a slab board, done forever, all eternity. One's got rounds on it, one's got flats on it. You guys debate which one would go on which, but son of a bitch, man, they're the best. And yeah, James Jamerson played one, which means it's on like, I don't know, all of your favorite records. So you've heard it. You've heard what, what one of these sounds like by somebody who's good at playing them. <laughs> we'll hear what it sounds like when I do it too. But yeah, this is um, so generation four of the P bass. So we have the thick slab bodies that look like Telecasters, and we have the contoured body. Then we finally get into this body shape with the gold guards and the maple neck. This uh, starting in '59 when they start to transition out of those maple necks, we go to the slab rosewood fingerboard. Slab, you say? Yeah, pay attention. <laughs> slab. Get a shot of the uh, end of the neck there. Do we see how that rosewood sits flat right on top of the maple neck? The bottom, you know. I got it. It's a nice, big, thick slab of rosewood. Sits like a slab of marble. And then they came in and radiused it and put the frets on it. As opposed to a few years later, in what we call the L-series guitars and how they did rosewood throughout the rest of the 1960s, where it's laminated where it's kind of the maple neck itself has the radius that they want to achieve. And then they laminate a curved little strip veneer of rosewood as opposed to the thick slab and then radiusing it down. Oh, there you go. It's a difference. <laughs> Do they sound different? Sure. I don't know. They all sound kind of different, man. It's a hard question. Put three consecutive serial numbers in a row. They're probably all going to sound different. Uh, I like slab boards. Slab boards would be my favorite. Of course, they do cost more money because they are a little bit more rare. But man, if you if you play them hard and you got to refret guitars, you probably want to have a slab board because it's nice to know that there's some extra rosewood there in case you do have to level the board a little bit to to get it all nice and ready to be refretted. Some of those laminates, man. Whew. Take it to the wrong guy, I'll sand right through it. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's all P bass, man. Split uh, pickup, no raised A. Uh, underneath, typical, typical P bass, volume, tone. Uh, we got the four saddle bridge under here. Mutes have been taken off the cover. People always ask me that too, what are these used for? Um, the basses make a little bit more sense than the guitars, because usually underneath this cover would be like a little strip of foam that would just mute the string so you get that real dead sound. Most people have moved away from that, or at least in, in a lot of the popular music's moved away from that, so a lot of people just, one, either take the covers off and, and ash their jazz cigarette in it, or, um, you know, just take the foam off if you like the look of the covers. This one does absolutely nothing, uh, but it looks bitchin'. And this is called Tug Bar, because you tug on it, 
while you thump. Have we answered all your questions? Let's go out to the couch. <laughs> Let's go get our P bass on. All right, we're out front. We have the 1961 Fender Precision Bass, original three color sunburst finish. Tortoise pick guard, we're going through Fender Rumble 200 today. All those EQs right at noon. Let's start with the bass. Uh, tone rolled completely off out of the circuit. Let's turn it up, let's do something kind of staccato and thumpy, see how it does the thump thing. Cool. Let's uh, keep the tone off. Let's uh, change it up a little bit and just give it a little longer notes, let them hang a little bit longer, see what it does. Still tone off on the bass here. Cool. Tone, wide open on the bass. Now we're hearing everything. Let's see what we got here. That is James Jamerson, the sound right there. Well, that wasn't. The bass is. <laughs> sound like th 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 some guy. 1961. Fender Precision Bass, three color sunburst finish, tortoise guard, slab, slab, rosewood fingerboard, clay dots. Original case. Yeah, it's got some wear on it, man. But it's because somebody played it. Because it's sick. There's your guitar of the day. There's your thumping Thursday. Follow me. On Instagram and Twitter, at Mark Agnesi, follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars. Jen, how's that website coming? Working on it all day today. I make no promises. We'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> for another episode of Guitar of the Day. Toodles. Bye. Bye.